Hey Aquarius, welcome to your reading. It's a lovely Sunday afternoon, so I thought let me just do some more readings. Feels really calm. Let's check the energy and see what's going on with my lovely Aquarians. Let's see. Passion ignites. I think you guys had love begins before, right? Passion as well. Love it. I love it. Ace of Wands. Communication coming in. Somebody initiating, sparking the flame within you. Somebody lighting you up. Positive communication. Opportunities that shouldn't be missed. I said you guys just had love begins. Look at this. Two aces. Let's just stop. We want passion, we want love, we want this fire in our soul, fire and water there, make some steam. So, yeah, enjoy. I can't wait. I want my lovely Aqu Aquarians to have um, this love that they deserve. I keep preaching it. I know I'm preaching to the choir in the Aquarian video, but yeah, I really want this for you guys. Hope. That's card 17 there. Um, one plus seven eight related to the strength card and your eighth house so we have transformation change coming because you held on to this hope this hope for humanity i feel like it's hope for love hope for passion hope for the whole world that you guys have there i'm loving it i'm telling you aquarians i want to stop now we have love we have hope we have passion actually an aquarian said to me um new hope so there you go there you go enjoy that new hope that you have ace of pentacles so it comes with a committed offer wonderful look at these cards and i'll leave information about what decks of cards i'm using in the description box guys so go ahead and check that out so at least we have three aces right come on for the ace of swords and it's manifesting right now for you guys. Three aces. Um, all the ones you want to see. Ace of pentacles. Ace of cups. Ace of wands there. So love, passion, hope, commitment. Five of swords. You're like, Stephanie, I've heard it all before. Baby this, baby that. No. This five of swords is the challenges and obstacles you face throughout your life to make you who you are today. And you still have this hope. My Aquarian friend um, always tells me that he's a pessimist. And I'm like, you're an optimist. You know, hope may be frail, but it's hard to kill. And you're forever in this hopeful situation that things will improve. You have hope for humanity. Have hope for yourself. The tower. Don't be scared. Don't fear this change. It's coming. It's going to be something that changes your whole world around. Your whole perspective here. So you have this surprising offer coming. Now you've um, overcome all these challenges and obstacles with the five of swords. It may just be um, the challenge was communication. And now we have the ace of wands. Communication can happen. And we have the Queen of Wands now. So action can be taken now, you know. Now you've had that conversation. Now you can take action here. And go for it, I feel. This is Venus, so it might be your natal Venus lining up to bring you something special here. Something passionate, right? Something gorgeous with the Queen of Wands. So let's see. The Chariot. This is going to be a fated meeting that you have with somebody who's really attractive and spicy and passionate about life. I feel like they bring you a new perspective where you're very hopeful and even helpful and beautiful souls. Here we see uh, somebody who's different from you, but adds that spice to your life. Somebody um, to bring you some joy and excitement. I really love this reading for you guys. I'm sick of it being all doom and gloom for Aquarians. It's so beautiful now. Six of Swords. Look at this. You're moving past the Five of Swords. Like I said, moving past these challenges and obstacles with ease. Because you've heard it all before. You've seen it all before. You've done it all before. And you've thought it all before. So this new hope is... 
Um, positive thinking, and that's the six of swords, being able to move forward and think positively. Um, the chariot, again, indicates a new approach, bringing success and destiny with the queen of wands there. The four of swords, okay, this is um, related to your fourth house and it's about home, it's about family, it's about love. Um, there might not be a lot going on at home at the moment. Again, we see this boredom with Aquarius, like somebody come take me already and spice up my life. And this is what's going to happen. So don't, this is why it's going to be a surprise because you're like, nothing's happening. And this is why there's a tower because it's really going to shake you up and you actually don't believe it's coming, but you have hope. Don't tell me you don't Aquarius. I know you do. You have hope. And I feel that indicates um, with the Six of Swords and the Ten of Swords there, that you've overcome the worst of it, right? Ten Swords, the worst of it is now over. So just because it's a little bit boring, you've healed. You're in a good place, positive place of thinking. You're going to get that movement forward now, okay, guys? I really enjoyed this reading for you guys. Ace of Wands again. I'm telling you, this is an opportunity not to be missed. That's the Ace of Wands. Grab it by the horns, right? So that you can enjoy this love and passion and excitement that's coming into your life. Especially if you're bored. Don't tell me, no, I'm not going to go for love again. If you're feeling this discontentment with life, um, grab it by the horns, your life. Grab it by the reins. And lead the way. Destiny is stepping in to help you out here. Somebody coming in with an offer. It's an offer of commitment as well as love and passion. Um, so the Ace of Wands did come first. So you might be like, oh, they just want me for my body. We get it, Aquarians. You're gorgeous. Um, and yeah, they find you attractive. And so they should. You want somebody to be attracted to you and in love with you and want commitment with you. And that's what we see happening. This conversation, somebody reaching out and um, Venus helping out as well. Oh, two jumped out there. Let's see. Um, judgment and two of swords. If this is somebody from your past and you're in two minds about it, maybe let them go. Maybe just trust that there's something new and better and exciting out there for you. But it's time with the judgment card there. The judgment card indicates somebody wanting a second chance. Um, if you immediately want a second chance with them, go for it. But if you're in two minds about it, um, you know, pass it up. Um, it could be that your ex or somebody here from your past, maybe you wasn't in a romantic relationship with them. You was just in... Uh, like friends or something and you know always had a thing for each other and indecision has been holding that person back so now they come forward with the judgment card here enjoy it i mean aquarians it's what you've been waiting for right so enjoy it good luck guys